Hey guys, TJ Houston here with tjhouston.com. Today I wanted to share a really quick video on what I use in studio for wireless tethering. So I'm on the Sony system, um, shooting in my studio here, and you can see I have a TV set up and I have my MacBook Pro hooked up to it. So I'm gonna go through kind of step by step what I do, so that way you guys can do it in your studio if you wanna wirelessly tether. Now the reason that I do this instead of traditional tethering, I hate cords, hate, you know, I'm really high energy during shoots and I hate tripping over stuff. So that's why I chose to go the wireless route. Let's take a look. So we're over here at the TV and the first thing that we do is have to open up the software. The software that I use is Mac, PC, I believe it's also on Android, Linux, and iOS. The name of the software is QSLR Dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up my, on my Mac here. Okay, we can see the software opened up here. So the next thing we have to do is we have to connect our camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our camera and we're gonna go over to the applications. And then we're gonna go to application list. And then we're gonna choose smart remote embedded. You'll see on your screen it'll come up and it'll say Wi-Fi standby. And then it'll say operate smartphone to continue this device via Wi-Fi. I'm sorry, operate smartphone to connect to this device via Wi-Fi. So on our computer, we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna choose the camera's wireless access point. You can see here, I'm connecting to my A7S. We'll give it a second to connect. And once it's connected, we're gonna click on where it says Sony. Sometimes this does take a minute or two, but once it comes up, you'll see that the screen will actually change and we're ready to go. So if you wanna see live view, so that way you could see it on your screen, I don't do this when I'm telling, but if you want to, you can. All you have to do is come over here and select live view. And from there, you're connected wirelessly. We'll show real quick with our model here. She's looking a little stiff. And we could see here it fires, and we could see right on screen with histograms the image that is, is um, taken by my camera. So what's really cool about this is your model in studio can actually see what they're doing and they can make small modifications. This is all gr also great if you're doing any macro photography or if you're demoing to a group or if you do food photography, so that way you could see it on a much bigger screen. This software does a lot more. I've only scratched the surface. There's different time lapse. There's, di there's so many different features that it has. I use it for just the basic features, which is wireless tethering. If you have any questions or you run into issues when setting this up, please feel free to leave a note in the comments or reach out to me at tj at tjhouston.com. Thank you.